Have you subscribed to the channel yet? Click the link below and subscribe now. We're building an ark. <laughs> Just kidding. Hi, YouTube friends. It's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. I've got the OG with me today, and we are building a little free, free library, a unique little free library. So he's gonna let me film, and we're gonna turn this cooler into a library. So the situation is this. I wanted to build a little free library for up at the lake, but I didn't want it to be just a little free library. So I found this old cooler, and it's still a good cooler, which will keep the rain out and the water out. It is pouring right now. You can tell I'm soaked to the bone. It's very refreshing. That's the word we're gonna use, refreshing. So. Dad's gonna help me put a plumbing flange on this sucker and we're gonna build us a library. Let's get to work. I don't want it in the center because then it's gonna angle back. We gotta put it up near the front where it's flat. See where this is flat? Yeah. So in here. Yeah, going to you right. just need to be in the center. got is a galvanized plumbing flange that we're going to use because we don't want it to be permanent up at the lake. We're going to put it in an old umbrella stand. So we've got a galvanized pipe, plumbing flange, construction adhesive, and some screws. And we're going to put this together. All right, so the battery is dead. We're going to go old school. <laughs> It'll work. <laughs> So we picked up a latch because this is gonna be waterproof, but we wanna make sure when nobody's around that it stays shut in the wind and stuff like that. So we got a really cool latch for it. So we got this lockable drawer catches. So it's got the little piece that goes over it, but it also has a locking mechanism. So when nobody's around, we can lock it too. Okay, so I got this really nice shelf board and we're, because of its narrowness, we're gonna taper this at the 11 and a quarter to 11 inches and then it's 10 and a half inches deep so we're gonna cut this 10 and a half inches and then taper it so it'll go a long way. So it's gonna be a long, deep shelf. Dad's gonna do it on the bandsaw. I might have just sanded that last little bit off. <laughs> Did you hear yourself for real? Damn. It's a little nick. Paper cut.
So there we are, we've got our little free library. It is on a post. I will do a little panning picture for you, but we've got our latch here to keep it closed. We've got an adjustable shelf inside and all it needs is a book. Oh, look who wrote this one. Shameless Self-Promotion 101. Put your book in there and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, don't forget to click the link below. Thanks for watching everyone. Happy chunking. Bye. Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.